So this is a video of the two-stage hypocyte cycloidal gear uh, that I designed and made using the script, the script from uh, Alex Late. And the first one I built uh, was just a single stage, just to test out the test it out and make sure it works. And this is a uh, five to one gear ratio um, uh, hypocycloidal. The problem with a single stage is that the output is eccentric, so you need to have a special adapter in order to um, take this eccentric output and, and make it be um, um, coaxial with, uh, with the input. So um, a quick and easy way of fixing that is by making a uh, double stage um, hypocycloidal. And we do that by, by just taking the normal uh, single stage output, uh, putting in our eccentric shaft. In this case, this is a 3D printed eccentric shaft. And you'll notice that uh, um, there's one flat side on it. That's not necessary. It's only there because uh, it needs to be there for 3D printing. You insert that. You take the, the two, uh, the, uh, the, um, uh, the gear, and you'll notice that the, the, the gear has two stages. There's a five-lobe gear and a six-lobe gear. Uh, I learned the, hardware, the hard way that you can't use two five-lobe gears, or you, otherwise you don't get an output. Um, so you plug this one in, and then you take the second stage, and this, tech, this second stage you'll notice you can see through on the top, and I've done that so that you can actually see how it's working. So it's a little tricky to get it together. Let's see if I can do it. Now, if you notice, it's a little sticky. Then, when I turn it, it turns about um, about ten degrees, and that's because this is now a thirty to one gear reduction. Um, and you'll notice that the output is not eccentric; it's collinear with the input. Um, so if I were to take a piece like this one, uh, which would cover up and you wouldn't be able to see the gear, um, you'd be able to attach something to this face uh, and rotate it like a robot arm, like you'd expect uh, on this website. So there is the, there is the part uh, on this post. You'll see um, the design files. The design files are um, made in uh, Fusion 360. Thank you very much.